Hi guys, it's Luck Dragon Girl, and I have this awesome doll to show you today. This is one of the holy grails of my child doll collecting. The extremely rare red ultralog, and this is a real red ultralog, okay? Her name is Elizabeth. I actually named her after the character from the Waltons, because my mom loved the Waltons, and Elizabeth, um had brown eyes and red hair and I've had this doll for a few years so my mom was still alive when I got her but so she's kind of special because her name's Elizabeth like my mom's favorite shows characters um Elizabeth came from an American seller who I can't remember how she listed the doll but I know that she said there was a little defect it was a clipped plug and it, it was actually two clip pugs, and they were right next to each other. It was a factory error, you guys. It They end, they're somewhere on this side of her head. I can't tell you where, but they end below where her ponytails go. So, <laughs> I don't know what this person was thinking with this price. I'm not sure if it was a mistake or not, but they are the price. I didn't even question it, you know, let them know, hey, wow, this is a lot more expensive than what you advertised as, but... She was a buy it now for, I still remember this, $189, which sounds like a lot. You guys, look these dolls up, the red ultralongs. They were only made for a year. They are made in 1987, only made for the international market. And redheads are the rarest hair color for any hairstyle. These were replaced with strawberry blondes in 1988, which are another holy grail doll, a, a strawberry blonde ultralong is just as expensive as a red ultralong. These dolls you see maybe two on eBay a year. Two. That's not a good year. Most years you only see one. It is not uncommon to see them sell for seven hundred, eight hundred, nine hundred dollars, a thousand, eleven hundred dollars. They are so rare. <laughs> I jumped on the chance to buy this doll when I saw her. I was going, oh, I hope this doll's not a dyed doll. She's not. She's totally real. How you can tell if it's a dyed doll or not is by checking the roots of the hair. Oh, it's going to be near impossible to see. i um, trying to dig through, but, like, the roots there. Dyed dolls, people usually dye blonde, so the roots, this color is completely solid all the way through. The roots when you dye a doll are very hard to get the color all the way down. You also want to make sure she's not a reroot, and reroots are hard to do. Most people don't bother. She's definitely not a reroot. Her hair, I put her up next to a American redhead that I had just to make sure. Apparently, it's Caroline. You've seen Caroline. I actually have a photo that I took of them together. So my child for doll forms were still open in my child workshop. And I couldn't believe I got this doll for this price. I had to show people. I was like, no shoes. Were Someone said they had seen the auction. They didn't think the doll was real. So, like, no, she's real. I took. I showed the picture of Caroline next to Elizabeth. And it's probably the deal of the century for these dolls. And they're not even century old. But it was just a steal. <laughs> I mean, yeah. If you're, some people find them in thrift stores if they're lucky. But let's go through what Elizabeth is. She is, she was um, sold in the UK. Because the lady who sold her in the US said she bought it from a British woman. So she's a British peach skin, red ultralog, with brown eyes, a peach pink makeup. And this is the exact combination I would have picked if I said I wanted a red ultralong, which I, of course I did, but I never expected to really own one. I mean, I'd love to own it with all the eye colors, but I always like pink lips better than peach. And brown eyes are my favorite eye color for the dolls, period. They look good in all the hair stuff colors, but... Oh, yes. Uh, she does... I didn't even notice it for a couple years. She does have a slight crack in one eye. It's just minor, minor... I think it's this eye. It's like right there. It's tiny. It's just a stress crack. Um, some of these dolls have stress cracks for the manufacturing process. For as rare as these dolls are, these red ultra longs, it would not affect the value at all. <laughs> if her eyes were missing, her value would still be really high. Now, I have seen them sell for like 600 so I mean, they don't all sell for 700 plus because, you know, not many people can afford to drop 700 800 900 $1,000 on a doll. I most certainly cannot afford to do that. So, lucky I can't because the house would be totally full like, like 
it's not already full. Her, her hair is a little dry. And I could um, get the flat iron out and try to fix that. But if you got a doll that's expensive, and her hair still looks very good, I'm not going to do that. It, it's a little bit shorter than stand, than the old dolls I have. Slightly. I don't know if she's had trim in the past or not. But if she has, it's very, very slight. She is wearing an outfit she would never have worn in the stores. This is the yellow romper pinafore. It's an 88 outfit. The pinafore is the original pinafore. This is the one that came with Courtney. We saw Courtney in the last My Child Doll video. Hi, sweetie. This is a reproduction apron. These are reproduction barrettes. She's wearing white Oxfords and just some little lacy socks. I don't even know if these are... I don't think... They're not My Child socks. I don't know where I got them from. I don't really care. Isn't she beautiful? I am such a lucky, lucky person to have this doll. Oh. I mean, as great as my Hispanic doll wins have all been, and you're going to start hearing those tales. This is my pride. She's not my favorite doll. I'll admit it. She's not my favorite. She's not even my favorite Ultralon. That's Arabella. You've seen Arabella's video. You've seen the face. You understand, right? She is so special and amazing, and I love her. <laughs> One day, hopefully, she will have red Ultralon sisters with aqua eyes. Aqua eyes is my next hope. I don't have any aqua eyed reds. It's very disappointing. Hopefully she'll have a red, uh, aqua-eyed sister, a green-eyed sister, and a blue-eyed sister. And maybe if I can get them for such a good deal, that would be even better. But, you know, never give up hope. Anything you collect, just faithfully check eBay here and there. Never give up hope. You never know when someone who is a seller has no idea what they have. Or is it just an honest seller who makes a mistake? And yeah, I, I'm really sorry if this seller made a mistake. But still, she got $189 for this doll. That's a good, that's a big hunk of change. I mean, she never mentioned it. I never mentioned it. So she may not have made a mistake. She may have thought dearly that I would have cared about those two plugs. No, I don't. I'm good. Is it? Look at her hair. She's so beautiful. And her face is beautiful. Which is a plus. <laughs> some dolls their faces aren't as pretty as others so this is Elizabeth my little rare beauty you would think I would have her in the living room for the showcase but no she's not a living room doll maybe one day well I'm a little hesitant to put very valuable things in the room that the doors in I'll even though I got my little puppy here who stays in the living room and she's currently sound asleep on the couch anyway if you like this video if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I promise I'm going to be quiet now. I mean, there's give me my little before picture of her. Oh, oh, yeah, and I don't know what her original outfit was. She came in the red Magic Nursery tea bars that Courtney has. Boom. And she had on this beautiful oak dress made by, I think, Pam V. was a famous, famous My Child doll clothes designer back in the day. But, um... Eloise is actually wearing that outfit now. It looks good on Eloise. Anyway, enjoy. Bye, guys. Have a great day. I made a mistake in my video. The white part of her outfit is actually called the pinafore. The yellow part is the romper. She wears white T-bars, not white Oxfords. And this is Elizabeth's before picture.